So welcome to Da Nang Beach, Vietnam. Nice one. So that's the uh, Avatar Da Nang. And uh, let's walk along the uh, beach area and uh, see what it's like. And today is uh, Sunday. I do love the uh, the huts or the sun shields, whatever you you call them. It's a bit different to what I'm used to than in Thailand. Don't think you can put those up every day. I think they're a permanent fixture. This beach is so beautiful. And what a contrast from the last time I was here when there was hundreds or thousands of people in the sea and walking along the beach. Now it's the uh, early afternoon and it's too hot. So some nice big hotels right on the beach. There are lovely beautiful view of the sunrise in the morning. That's cool. Is that one person on there or two? Maybe just one. Beautiful. Well, it's not surprising it's empty here because it's just so hot. No one's gonna wanna be out in the sun without any shade. people having fun in the water or paragliding that does look good be interesting to see them coming to land sometimes that's not so easy no not in the water I'd hate to land in the water Okay, so they've got jet skis to pick them up from the water. I think I'd rather land on land, as it were. So apparently there is areas where you're only allowed to swim. And if you swim outside of those areas, you get a whistle blown at you. I think there's red and yellow. I can't see any yellow. That's the lovely beach, and that's the beautiful sea. Great. Welcome to Da Nang. So, let's go in the shade and check out uh, on the other side of the road, I think. Lovely hotels. Beautiful views. So you can walk along the beach. Oh, they got a, a footpath. Which is not really undercover. I suppose it's a little bit with the, the palm trees. So this looks to be mostly uh, all hotels along this area. Okay, so we're in uh, Mayan, Bai Bin, Bai Bin Beach, Mayan, Dana. This probably looks really, really nice at night time when it's all lit up. Yeah. 
grass you need a nice green. I do see some empty hotels that look like they were being built but doesn't seem to be having any work done to them. Maybe that was uh, in COVID times and everything went wrong. I can't understand sometimes the tooting of horns. I think some people, they just like to uh, toot their horns or when they're approaching the junction. Other times, I think they're just doing it for fun. So, my Anne Beach, Da Nang. Nice one. So, let's continue. Paradise. they do burgers or something like that. It's uh, definitely fried food. So you've got that little pathway there, but you've also got this pathway here. But also walking along the beach is also very nice. Very nicely designed. Lots of coffee shops as well. Oh! <laughs> Talking about coffee shops, there's Starbucks. I'm sure Starbucks doesn't do easy coffee. And of course with the beach, you have the mountains and uh, they are really lovely. They uh, make it nice for any photograph or video. Now, I'm new to Vietnam, so I don't know the area at all. So the beach is new to me, as is everything else new to me, including the currency. Probably a, a billionaire over here because of the currency. Wow, that looks nice. So there's a few eateries along the beach, or even on the beach, happily serving you with uh, coffee, tea, and uh, fast food, and some drinks. Which is what you probably need. Okay, I'm gonna have to come back here at night time. I think once this is all lit up, it's uh, probably very, very nice. So what I didn't know is, which I think I said before, is that this is the western area. So this is uh, like, you get a lot of western food and uh, western restaurants that you might normally see in other cities. And of course, from all different countries. Korean, Japan, America, you name it, they all seem to be here. You can go surfing if you want. I do like the paraglide in the last minute. I do like the way they do things like this. 
What does this say? The Nang. 2024. The Nang Beach. Flowers Walk. So you have some amazing uh, garden features here. Just beside the road and the beach. So they've uh, tried to spend some money to make it uh, look really nice along here. And it does really look nice. So we have changed beaches. This is uh, Mikey Beach. So that's the uh, lower end of the beach. Still a lovely area, but a different beach. So this is uh, Mikey Beach, which is much further down to where I was previously. Not too much happening in this area here in comparison to over there. I did notice the, uh, the red flags. People were swimming. Let me see what the sign says because this is a little bit confusing. People are swimming where there's red flags and then the yellow flags are not swimming. Which I don't quite get. And it looks like to have a no swimming sign. Which is even more puzzling. So they've got orange and yellow flags over there. Okay, so uh, looks like the red flags are no swimming, which is what you would presume it to be. They got a yellow flag out there. Ah, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's because it's the area for jet skis and that. Again, this is a red flag area. Possibly because of the jet skis. And over there, a bit further down, there's a, a yellow flag and there are people swimming. It looks like they've got some borders where you can't swim out further maybe because the jet ski might get you who knows so some fun and games with the jet skis not sure if it's the same as uh, Thailand I've never had a jet ski hello I've never had a jet ski in uh, Thailand for several reasons. Okay. Banana boat. Or a variation on a banana boat. Lady Buddha is over there. And uh, the road seems to uh, split along here. The main road that is going off to a different direction. So let's check out. Let's check it out. So uh, this is the split in the road from uh, Da Nang Beach. We've got a roundabout there. Not sure where that goes, but uh, let me continue. Again, some uh, e trees almost on the beach and currently it's uh, 35 degrees in the low season rainy season but it is a weekend it is a Sunday so again plenty of hotels overlooking the beach so, spoilt for choice. So that's uh,
Welcome to Da Nang Beach, Vietnam. Enjoying a refreshing Coca-Cola after a long walk at 35 degrees. It's just starting now to get slightly cloudy. Well, a bit more than slightly cloudy. But a very hot day. Again. Cheers. Oh my god, that's where the Dragon Bridge is. Who knew? If I hadn't come up here, I wouldn't have even known. That's where I wanted to go today. What a beautiful beach. And this is only part of it. And that was at the uh, rooftop of the uh, Stella Maris Beach Hotel. And it just so happens that down there is Dragon Bridge, which is where I want to go next. Great. But I'm not sure about this and I just saw some lightning. So I might get a bit wet. The Dragon Bridge. Still pouring down the rain. Dragon Bridge. And uh, I'm slightly soaked. Never mind. I'm here. Cheers. <laughs> 